What a wonderful day in Bodylandia, ain't it, Chloe? Uh. Oh, it's a zombie! Chloe, run for your life! It's me, Derb. I think I'm sick. Sick? Well, why didn't you say so? That's way easier to cure than being a zombie. Nerb MD is on the job. Rhonda. Yes, Dr. Nerb? I'm going to need you to clear my schedule for the rest of the day. Cancel my golf outing with the appendix. Yes, sir. Chloe, it looks like you've got yourself a sore throat. I've got you on bed rest and chicken soup. Looks like there is only one thing left to prescribe. What? A bedtime story! Oh, uh, you. Tonight's story is a fairy tale called The Fellowship of the Immune System, Defenders of the Realm. You and I are characters in the story! Once upon a time, there was a beautiful queen who lived in a beautiful castle. The castle was called Castle Chloe, and she took good care of it. Here, have an apple, castle. Outside of the pretty castle, there were invaders called germs. There are four major types of germs. Viruses, which thrive in living cells and cause diseases like chickenpox and the flu. Fungi, microscopic organisms that can cause itchy rashes like athlete's foot. Parasites, which can cause diarrhea and other problems. And bacteria, tiny one-celled creatures that cause infections like strep throat and pneumonia. Some bacteria help your body, so not all of them are bad. But these guys sure are. Queen Chloe looked on in horror at the germs on the horizon. She needed the advice of her trusted council on how to proceed. There is a threat to the realm, so I need your help. What do you suggest, vaccine? I say take care of yourself in a variety of ways before you get sick. Start by getting vaccines, also called shots or immunizations. They help prevent bad illnesses such as whooping cough, tetanus, and the flu. After getting a vaccine, the body is more protected! Good counsel. What say you, Hando Fingers? Washing one's hands regularly will prevent germ invasion. Apple a day? One should eat nutritious foods. Runny McRunnerson. Get plenty of exercise. Hop, hop, hop. Snoozer the snoozer. Uh, uh, huh? What? what? Oh. Get enough sleep. Oh, time for my nap. Stethoscope the bold. Breathe deep. And get regular medical checkups. Thank you, advisors. By taking your advice, we should be safe. <gasps> what was that? It's a germ invasion! Despite our best efforts, germs can sometimes still get into the body. We need a hero. We need... The Fellowship of the Immune System, Defenders of the Realm! Greetings. I am Sir Nerb Nerblington III, Knight of the Immune System. Sir Nerb Nerblington III? Are you serious? That's the worst name I... As I was saying, Nerd Nerblington III, the handsomest knight in the kingdom, came to save the day. Do not fear the germ hold, your highness, for we have the immune system, a network of cells, tissues, and organs that work together to keep one healthy and fight infections. Immune system, a symbol! The immune system is made up of two different kinds of cells often called white blood cells, lymphocytes, present. These guys allow the body to remember and recognize previous invaders to destroy them. Phagocytes, on deck. These guys chew up and devour invading germs. Go forth and fight immune system cells. They can make us sick, but they'll never take our freedom. So that's it? Those cells went off to fight? Yes, your highness, but the war for Castle Chloe's health has just begun. There are battles being fought all over the castle as we speak. Some major battlegrounds in the immune system fight against germs. Are the body's tonsils, 
and lymph nodes. Oh, so that's why I have swollen glands on the sides of my neck. It's the immune system cells in my lymph nodes working hard to remove germs and make me better. Exacto mundo. Another battleground is located in the spleen, an organ tucked under your rib cage on the left. The spleen, like lymph nodes, helps you fight infections. <coughs> All of that is going on inside me right now? Can I do anything to help the good guys win? You sure can. Sometimes your body can't do it all and needs some help when it's sick. That's when you call in the reinforcements. Grandpa Jebediah Nerve, you know what to do. Fire the antibiotics! You only take antibiotics when you have a bacterial infection. Only a doctor can say if you need an antibiotic and you need a prescription. Once again, please see your doctor. This message was approved by the Chloe and Nerb Association. Wow, I had no idea there was an epic battle going on in my body. <sighs> no wonder I'm so tired. Yeah, it can take a while for your immune system to knock out all of the bad germs. The best thing you can do to help is to take care of yourself and get lots of rest. <coughs> yup, exactly like that. The immune system continued to fight, and all through the land, people thanked their heroes. The Fellowship of the Immune System, Defenders of the Realm! Nerb, I'm trying to sleep. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>